If you live in the Charlotte or Lake Norman region and have sat in traffic, this video is for you. I'm gonna tell you about some relief that is not far around the corner. So I was just reading about the NCDOT announcing a $600 million super highway that is coming to the Lake Norman region. This thing is crazy. And yes, I said 600 million, not 600 billion, which is probably what we need for our roads. If you are from or live in the Lake Norman region, you know that currently there are only two ways to get across the lake. You can either go on the north end across Highway 150 in the Mooresville and Cheryl Spore region, or you can head south and go across Highway 73 from Huntersville all the way over to Lincoln County. Now, 73 is getting a makeover. Super exciting. So don't get too excited though, because it's not going to start until 2026. But the North Carolina Department of Transportation has announced that they are going to rejuvenate Highway 73 and turn it from a two lane, little tiny, lots of stoplight road into a $600 million super highway, four lanes, two going in each direction which would be a huge relief for traffic, right? Now this superhighway is going to span three counties. It's gonna cover the, it's gonna cover Lincoln County, Mecklenburg County, and Cabarrus County, which is where it will actually end. So they're gonna take this all the way from Highway 16 over on the Denver side of the lake, all the way through to North Cross, drive in Huntersville. Now that's a pretty decent distance and it more than covers the width of the lake. So you've got quite a bit of room. Now the reason that they are doing this is because of all the growth. We've had tons of growth in the area as you all know. We've already probably surpassed the traffic increases in the last several years. And one of my biggest complaints in uh, this area is the infrastructure wasn't really put in place prior to the growth. Now I've realized it's hard to estimate how much growth you have, but when you have a queen city like Charlotte, then you need to realize that people are gonna wanna be here. You've got a lot of major sports teams, you've got a lot of um, celebrities and athletes that live in the area. You've got this gorgeous lake that everybody wants to be on the shoreline of. And it is just, it's chaos. So people are coming. We need to pay attention. With that infrastructure issue, we have a ton of traffic jams. We have a ton of issues with traffic across the board. I kind of jokingly tell people that are moving here that, you know, if you're gotta go 10 miles, double it, it's gonna take you 20 minutes. So no more 65 miles an hour, you can get a mile a minute. You're now like a mile every two minutes which stinks when you're driving home from work after a long day, and it's gonna take you at least an hour to get home. So most places from one side of the city to the other, it's gonna take me approximately an hour. Don't forget to watch our video that we did on estimated traffic in the area, kind of talking about moving to Charlotte, how long is it gonna take you to get somewhere? I'll put it in the comments below for you, but definitely check that one out if you want more info on specific traffic routes. So with this super highway that's coming, they're expecting a 60% increase versus what we currently have. It, just imagine that for a moment, 60%. So for every 10 cars on the road, there's gonna be six more additional cars on the road by 2040. So with that 60% increase in traffic, we are in desperate, desperate need of a bunch of road work to be done, but at least getting this highway addition and expansion in. Hopefully it will help relieve some of that for you. Um, if you have questions about what's going on, you can definitely visit the North Carolina Department of Transportation website and get some insight on what's up and coming. And then we will of course share any information that we have down the road with you.